Hi guys, I'm Labrin Allen, the founder of the Natural Health Clinic, and today I'm going to be speaking with you about a procedure that we use in office to help you emotionally unwind. Stay tuned for that. We'll talk about it right after this. Welcome back. So you ever found, uh, felt rather wound up and stressed out? <laughs> I think we all have. So there's actually a uh, technique or procedure that we can use in office to help with this part of your healing journey. And just as an aside, always keep in mind that healing is really more of a trajectory than it is a destination, which means if we don't keep working on healing or improving our health, then we're going to have the reverse of that, which is not anything that any of us want. Okay, so let's get back to the subject at hand. When we have emotional stress or when we have emotions at all, let's talk about the physiology of that very simply, uh, you know, some background of how that functions because then that will help you understand how this particular procedure that we use uh, will help you. So there are a couple of areas in the brain, just two, right, that deal with uh, emotions. So again, keeping this simple, one of the main areas of the brain that deals with emotions is called the limbic system. The limbic system, if you will, kind of generates raw emotion or raw emotional data. And so once that data has been created, it sends that information to what is called the hippocampus. And the hippocampus has to decipher what that uh, raw emotional data is and then what should be the appropriate physiological response so that we can actually feel that emotion. And the way that our body responds to these uh, physiological feelings or creates that physiological feeling is through hormonal messengers or chemical messengers that are called neuropeptides. Now, when we have prolonged feelings or certain type of prolonged feeling, so consistently we feel irritation or anger or something like that, or we have a large surge, you know, a huge surge of these neuropeptides, they can actually begin toxifying different types of tissue or different organs and glands. So our own chemicals, if you will, our own biochemicals that the body uh, uh, creates can begin affecting our body exactly like any kind of toxic chemical, whether it be chlorine or dioxins or benzene or whatever the case may be. So when that happens, uh, it, in effect, those neuropeptides are stimulating that organ and we start feeling that emotion even though we may not be in a situation that it's called for. So we might find ourselves much easier to be reactive than would typically or should be the case. Uh, we can find ourselves easily triggered over different things that maybe in the past we have not. Although, that being said, this particular situation can actually be generated from a very, very, very young age. So what that means is, is that we may even think our way of responding to different kinds of emotional stressors is our personality, and in reality, it actually isn't. It's because of what may have happened to us very far back in the past set up these uh, neurochemical uh, neuropeptide responses that have continued to affect our body and our organs and glands from that time forward. So uh, this actually becomes, as far as helping with the emotional aspect, one of the more important categories as far as your healing trajectory. And it tends to be the most challenging. And the reason is, is that you know, it's fairly simple. In the beginning, many people think that uh, changing your diet and not eating the sweets or whatever is really, really hard, but it actually ends up being one of the easier things because you can always stop yourself from putting that fork or that candy or whatever it may be, that Coke, into your mouth, right? You do not have to physically put it into your mouth, and if you don't do that, then it's not going to affect you. However, changing the way that we respond psychologically, emotionally, to different situations is much more challenging. It is, it is a far higher goal, if you will. And this procedure that I'm about to describe to you and show you uh, is 
a very, very powerful tool to help you do that. So it's called the emotionally or emotional unwinding technique. And what we do is we use the same technique in the office that we use for finding what organs may have some nutritional deficiencies like, uh, uh, you know, your heart or your kidneys or whatever they may need in order to function optimally. So that is the muscle response testing or the autonomic nervous system response testing. And we use that to identify uh, what areas of the body are being toxified, if you will, from different neuropeptides. So what we're going to do is uh, use that technique to identify what areas are being affected, what emotions are affecting it, and then thirdly, what the body needs in order to detoxify from those neuropeptides as rapidly and efficiently as possible. So if you look at this, you see this is called the emotional unwinding experience. <laughs> we have called it a uh, technique. And so this is a test kit. So just like the other test kits that I use to find food allergies or chemicals, metals, or, you know, et cetera, et cetera. This is a test kit to help me find uh, different forms of emotional stressors that are affecting tissue. And if you look at this, you can see, I'll put them in front of my face, get a better view anyway than my face, right? You can see that there are different, hopefully you can see that anyway, that there are different organs that tend to be affected. All right, and that they're paired. So you notice right at the top, you're going to have a heart and small intestine. And that comes from traditional Chinese medicine, specifically acupuncture and the meridian system. So you have paired organs. You have the heart and small intestine, you have the large intestine lung, you have the bladder kidneys, uh, you have the liver gallbladder, and then you have the uh, reproductive and endocrine glands as well. And so what we would do is find out what area of the body is having, if you will, the most problem. Uh, so let's just say, you know, for the uh, example that it is uh, liver and gallbladder. Okay. So that would be a row four right here. And there are several what are called core emotions. So we want to identify what the core emotion is that's affecting, let's say in this case, the liver. So we would actually identify is it the liver, is it the gallbladder, or is it both? And once we identified what tissue it is or what organs it is, then we need to identify what the core emotion is. So the different core emotions in this case in the liver and gallbladder are aggression, irrational, suppressed, taken for granted, and anger. So if you know someone that's angry all the time, irritable all the time, you can bet that their liver is what is responding and actually it will be their liver that is most affected as far as health as well. So once we find that core emotion, then there may be supporting emotions as well. All right. So then we need to identify if there first are any supporting emotions and then what those supporting emotions may be. We use the same technique, that muscle response technique in order to do that. So for example, again, in the case of liver and gallbladder, here are the supporting emotions that could also be affecting the tissue. So that is frustration, guilt, bitterness, repressed, resentment, depression, bullied, hatred, indecisiveness, and panic. All right. So you can see that there are quite a few different emotions that may be affecting just one area of the body, and we would need to identify what those are. So what do we do next? We've identified what the emotion or emotions are. We've identified what the organ or organs may be. And so what do we do now? Well, we need to help the body to detoxify because they are chemically toxifying that tissue, right? We need to help the body to detoxify from those neuropeptides in that area. And the way that we do that is we use a couple of tools. They look similar, but they're actually different. Uh, we call them tokens. They're actually bio uh, bioenergetic uh, meridian tools. And we find out which one of these by testing again, uh, needs to go on the organ and we would test which organ it actually needs to be placed upon. So let's say that it's just the liver. And so we would have the client hold that on the liver. Okay. And then the other token, we would use it to stimulate uh, different meridian to help the body release, to motivate, if you will, the body to release those specific neuropeptides, emotions in that tissue. All right. And as we're doing that, as we're uh, stimulating the meridian 
with this uh, tool, we would have the client breathe in a specific way to help release those neuropeptides or chemicals as the procedure is being done. So uh, that's it as far as how the procedure works. It's simple overall, it does not take long. Typically the body wishes to release two to three different core emotions. Again, there may be supporting emotions with that, but uh, the body typically likes to release two or three core emotions at a time. Sometimes it's only one, sometimes it's more, but usually an average of two to three. Uh, that takes about 15 minutes or less. So again, it's not a long period of time. Uh, the way that I have clients do it is that if it's testing in their standard visit that they need to uh, look at the emotional aspects of things, then we'll schedule an emotional unwinding uh, procedure in conjunction with their office visit because it's only 15 minutes. And also if you have uh, a series, so you've paid for a series of office visits, then everything is covered. There's no additional expense out of pocket. We just simply use the series as part of the emotional unwinding or for the emotional unwinding visit. Uh, otherwise, if you do not have a series, then the uh, emotional unwinding procedure is the same fee as an office visit, which is $105 currently. All right, so uh, then once we've completed the whole procedure, we will test a couple of things. First, uh, will the body need any follow-up emotional unwinding procedures done? Because it may not. That may be the only emotion you have, <laughs> all right? <laughs> it, you'd be lucky, but it's possible. So uh, then if not, if you will need follow-up, we test when that is. And usually we find a month uh, sometimes it goes much longer than that. It could be three months. The longest I've seen is six months or so, uh, but that's kind of at the far outset. Usually it's a, between one to three months that you'll need another emotional unwinding procedure. And the reason for that is, is that whatever length of time is testing, uh, it will take that amount of time for the body to go through the cleansing detoxification process and be ready for the next step. So uh, if you are a client and I have recommended the emotional unwinding technique to you, I hope this helps you and you haven't done it yet. I hope uh, this helps you understand a little bit more of what to expect. Uh, if you haven't done it yet and you think that that may actually be something to help you in your healing journey trajectory, uh, then at your next appointment, just ask me about it. And if you aren't a client and see that there is a lot to, um, you know, different aspects to creating real health, then I invite you to an initial consultation because we can see what nutritionally and physiologically you're needing. Because I will say about 75 to 80% of the time, it is truly nutri nutritional deficiencies, dietary and lifestyle changes that will help you the vast majority of the time. And then if you really want to get to that optimal level of health, you may be needing to do uh, some more advanced work like the emotional unwinding technique, etc., etc. But to figure out any of that, the very first step is an initial consultation. So I invite you to uh, call the office, uh, and I will give the information for the uh, for the office number. Uh, you can either call the office, you can send us an email, uh, you can even text our office, you can uh, schedule online. There's many different ways that you can schedule an initial consultation, and we'll be uh, ready and happy to help you from that point. So uh, I'm Leigh Allen, the founder of the Natural Health Clinic. I hope you found this information informative and thanks for watching.